Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I am Mrs. Ragini. Today you can see our studio is nicely decorated with balloons because it's my 400th video. And thanks to all of you for encouraging me to you know come up with more videos. And today I am going to show you a dish and this is my husband's favorite favorite dish. This is nothing but badami chicken. All thanks to Sanjay because he always used to encourage me at home. Whichever dish I cook, he always used to say wow, wow, wow and he used to have it. Because of that, I am here dear friends to show you a nice simple recipe that to home style. So let's start how to make badami chicken. I am going to surprise him now. So first add some oil. The oil is hot. We are going to add some dry masalas and also bay leaf here is cinnamon cloves in shahi jeera and some fool add little not too much lot of chopped onions finely chopped onions because i want to make a gravy he loves gravy and juicy juicy chicken once you add onions just add salt and we are going to cook this onions till it is little bit color and here you can see i have marinated the chicken with some red chilli powder, salt and some turmeric. If you want you can add all the masalas and marinate and put it in the refrigerator for you know 4 to 5 hours or one day before also to get an excellent flavors and your chicken will be nice and juicy once you it cooks fast and it tastes good. So friends here you can see our onions are slightly transparent and little bit color also. We are going to add ginger garlic paste I did not marinate it with ginger garlic paste so I am adding in the oil once your ginger garlic paste is cooked we are going to add the badami paste and this is nothing but the almonds I have taken if you want you can directly you know put it in a blender add some water and make a nice fine paste like this or otherwise you can boil the badam and then you can make whichever way I am leaving it to you so add this badam paste if you want you can make this in white color also but today I am using chili powder and making it into red color and we are going to add chili powder lot of it we love spicy so I add lot of chili powder and coriander powder we need to cook the paste for some time till you know you see the oil is oozed out so friends here you can see the oil has slightly oozed out you can cook it for two to three minutes then you know automatically the oil will ooze out now we are going to add some curd even if you want you can add buttermilk also if you want a nice gravy mix this and now the marinated chicken in our house usually if we make chicken we get one whole bird that is you know one kg and we three will finish off this one kg chicken i already added salt while marinating it so I'm going to add the salt in the last again after checking the taste. Mix this so that all the masala will you know stick to your chicken and this will take at least 20 minutes to cook. Why 20 minutes? Because I marinated it overnight so it will cook fast. If you want even you can cook for 30 minutes also. But once you marinated it, chicken will cook fast. So friends here you can see I have mixed the chicken nicely. We are going to cover this with a lid and we did not add any moisture only the curd and the badami paste so automatically we get lot of water from the chicken because chicken will ooze out lot of moisture so i'm going to cook this for 15 minutes in slow flame and then we are going to add some garam masala and some green chilies and we are going to cook for another 15 minutes till our chicken is done so friends after 15 minutes of slow cooking if you want you can increase the flame also first five minutes and then you can reduce the flame to you know medium and cook it here you can see oil is oozed out and this has got nice thick gravy and now we are going to add the slit green chilies and also some garam masala powder if you want you can add otherwise you can skip also and this garam masala is fresh i always make fresh in my house and i check the taste it's you know very less of salt so I'm adding some more salt and this goes excellent with rice roti even pulka mix it once 
If you want more of gravy, you can add some water. But I did not add any water and I'm cooking this. And I'm going to cook for another 15 minutes. And last, I'm going to top it off with cream and switch off the flame. We'll wait for another 15 minutes. So dear friends, after 15 minutes, total, you know, 20 to 25 minutes, you can cook your dish if you have marinated the chicken. So this is done. You can see, you're going to add some cream, fresh cream because all rich rich I said so good amount of cream and also some fresh ginger which I you know sliced it and coriander lot of it and switch off the flame all ready our badami chicken and this I'm going to serve this to my husband with nice pulao and he's going to enjoy this dish. I'm going to just have one piece and then I'm going to have this along with my family. I love the wing piece always. Mm. Chicken is nice and juicy juicy. Mm. Not overcooked. Perfectly cooked. Like how my husband wants it. He wants the chicken to be nice and juicy juicy wow dear friends very simple always you know don't make the regular chicken try out different variations in chicken and feed your family fresh i hope you enjoyed this simple badami chicken if you like it make it and also share it with your friends so that everybody can have fresh food